Good morning. This is Jay Nicholas for the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. We've, uh, we've got a fun product here. It's uh, Senyo. Greg Senyo is a character. He's got some good fly tying materials for us. This is one of his intruder shanks. And to use this shank, you very often attach a wire for your stinger hook. And I'm going to show you how to attach that. Of course, I just dropped. Pardon me. I just dropped my wire. So this is a piece of Greg's uh, intruder wire. This happens to be purple. One thing you will notice is that there is a, uh, this, this intruder shank doubles back over itself, so it has a flat side. Uh, it has a flat side on both sides. So I turn that flat side up. It's very important to get this part right. Tie against that flat portion and then run it up through the eye of the hook. Tie it back. And I also had a good thread base underneath. Now remember, don't use your scissors to cut this wire. You'll be very sorry. Well, actually, it's great. Use your scissors because you'll be buying lots of extra scissors. So then you decide how long you want that loop. You rotate your hook, and then you very carefully, with a pinch loop, you tie it on the flat surface on the other side of the shank. Get a good wrap on that. Bring this one through the eye. Back on itself. Trim it off. You haven't seen me use any super glue yet. You may use super glue, however, I don't think it's necessary. But I will put a little drop of head cement on there. So sometimes we use fire line, which is more limber than the wire. Some people like it, some people hate it. I'm going to review here. Remember, the flat side of the shank. Coat your, coat your shank, tie one, end, one side of your wire in on this flat side, tie the other part of the wire in on the other flat side, run both pieces through the eye, tie them on. There you go. Greg Senyo's intruder shanks for salmon and steelhead. By the way, they work great for pike and muskie too. Thanks.